So what makes this sin worse than your sin? Come on, brother. Come on, brother. That's right. That my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hide from thee when I was made in secret and carried this rough and What congregation are you from? We from the congregation of Israel. That's right. That's the that's the congregation we from, man. Jesus? Who is Jesus? What did Jesus is God? Jesus really ain't God. And he's the son of God. He says it over and over again. I am the son of God. That's right. Don't call me God. Now, now, what does Christ look like? Okay, you okay? Oh, no. They ain't gonna, they gonna bug out. They ain't gonna bug out, man. Nah, that's wrong, man. That's wrong, Tom Hanks. You gotta, you gotta. Yeah, you can. Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to find out what he looks like? Oh my God, bro. Do you want to find out what I look like? Who is us? I know, I've seen him. I know what he looks like. Like you, like me, you. No. So he many colors is what you say. He's rainbow colored? Yeah, come on, come on. How many sons did Noah have? Noah had three sons. Shem, Ham, and Japheth, right? Yeah. Huh? Shem, Ham, and Japheth, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sound like you speak another language. Asia, right? Africa, and Europe. Okay. Three sons. God said, from your sons, though, I will repopulate the earth. Okay. What? What? Asia, Africa, and Europe. Give me uh, uh, Genesis 11. Now, he didn't like the fact that everybody got together. No. Why? Because we hate each other. Exactly. So yeah, he won't be. Hey, hey, what? Right. He won't represent the whole mankind when listen, he says, I'm, I'm splitting people in orders. Imagine being stuck on a boat with your in laws. And you're, and you're a bunch of animals, a bunch of crap. They hate each other. So what? Well, hold on. Other. But what is the point of you making the, the 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 statement of Noah and his three sons? Because we're all brothers, bro. Okay, okay. You, the human we're race. We're all related. Ham, Shem, and Japheth. There was no white people on the earth at Brother, that time. Brother, there's no such thing as white people. It was all people. black people Tell at the that Lord time. Are white. That's right. Tell the Lord and white. different shades of of of, of Tell brown. Tell the Lord that he'll strike you with leprosy. That is, I, white I white people Satan. are clean leopards. There's no such thing as Satan. There's no white, there's no black, there's no brown. So what were they before they were leopards? They had to have some type of color. Right. Because in, in, in sure. order, what's your name by the way? Joel. Give me Joel. Uh, uh, Mos, uh, uh, Mahar. Exodus, Mahar. Was Exodus 3. Mahar. So look, okay. Joel. Four, four and six. Yeah. In order for it to be leprous like that, it had to have a color first. Yes. Just, I mean, that's just logical thinking. Because you're talk, you, you talking about the Bible. So when we talk about the Bible, when you're dealing with leprosy, that was a specific sickness that if you had... No, I'm not dealing with leprosy. I'm just saying, um, God said, Noah, from your sons, I will repopulate the earth. Yes, but we're, we're Asia, saying... Africa, yes. Europe. And guess what? Those those are all different shades of brown people. There wasn't no white people on earth at that, that specific time. What is racism? Racism? What is it? What's it called? What does the Lord call racism? Well, the, the Lord is racist. Rivalry. The Lord, you don't believe the Lord's racist? The Lord calls racism sibling bribery. Is the Lord's racist? The Lord is God racist? Ask me that. No, no, no. The is Lord, God racist? Joel, stop. Joel, Lord, is God racist? The Lord calls racism sibling bribery. Is God <laughs> racist? Let, let, let us show you what God calls racist in the Bible. This is, he was talking to the okay. Israelites. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to a, be a special people unto himself above. A what? Above. We are equal. Above. We love everybody. Above. The human race. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's right. So it's above. We are above all people on the face of the earth. Why not? No, no. Give me a second. The Most High, are you going? Are you going to go with the Most High plan or what man create? Because what man say is, hey, let's all get together and be this one race. And we're all but God said, hold on, hold on. I'm going to put out a selective people and I'm going to put them above everybody because they got the mind of, uh, they got my mind. You know what I'm saying? That's very important. So if they got the mind of God, then whatever goes on under them, 
they can they can uh, uh you know bring order, man. They're, but look at the world right now. It's chaos. It's chaos because the wrong people is in power. Satan, bro. All right. Satan. Well, who is Satan though, man? Because we see physical man doing all damage on the earth. So we, every time we want to uh, 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 point at Satan and all these, yes, spiritual demon Satan is motivating physical people. Can now, who is these physical people? Give me I, Isaiah 14. Stop, you know, Go ahead. Okay, so all those who are in Christ are what? A new creation, right? What? All those who are in Christ are a new creation. All those who are in Christ who are Israelites are new creations. Exactly. Israel, yeah. right. If you're not an Israelite, then you can, you, you can be a new new Christ in, in, in whatever, but that's not going to work, man. Well, Joel, would you see yourself on this side right there? <laughs> Would you, not you personally, but what this world would call. See, this world calls us American black, but we would be from the tribe of Jews. Oh, actually, Have you ever heard of the 12 tribes? Yes. Okay, oh, yeah, so yeah, you can put this up. If you're a child of God, if you're an Israelite, you will fall in one of these tribes right here. What would Why you look so you? angry? What would this world call you? What would they identify? Because they identify us as I'm black. I'm not worried about no, Jesus. I'm, I'm just, I, I We're talking about Jesus. But see, the, the problem with Christians... They don't want to know the full story. They don't want to know half of the story. That's why they all say, hey, well, matter of fact, when I was in Christianity, guess what they told me? Hey, start with the New Testament first. Matthew, I'm like, well, for what? I had to read, you got to read the whole story, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, Christians know only half of the story, yeah, and they make a right. monument off of that, man, yeah, and worship that monument. That's not going to cut it, though. So we're going to read in the Bible how Moses himself, you know, the, when the Mosiah was challenging him, and he pulled his hand out, and he was a leper. All right, go ahead and read that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, this is the book of Exodus, chapter 4, and verse 6. And the Lord said, furthermore unto him, put now thy hand into thy bosom. So he said, put your hand in, bu in your bosom. Okay, now, so what color was Moses? Bright brown or dark. Okay, okay. So the Lord was only dealing with a specific people. There wasn't no... World of oh oh, you got white today. You got not, what you see today. It didn't look like that in the ancient hey, you know, world. The only white I see is like that sign over there, and that sign over there. Okay, so what is white people? You're right though. Well, I agree with that in a sense. Stuff, okay, so the what? God said, Mary, Mary. You're worried about all kinds of stupid stuff. Worried about what? the Lord. God said, Mary, Mary, Mary. Earth, earth, earth. You're worried about all kinds of foolish stuff. That's not in the Bible. Mary, no, bro. yeah, it is. Mary. Go ahead and read Mary. that. He's talking mad. <laughs> Mary, 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 Mary God. Now, you know, and that, that sounds like Catholicism, man. <laughs> that sounds like Catholicism. What are you talking about, bro? Hail Mary. No, 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 man. Mary was the and he put his hand into his bosom, and when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. Chapter 7. And he, so his hand, his hand was leprous as snow. Yeah, I, I get. I read. I read the whole Bible like a hundred times. Okay, so that lets you know that it wasn't even white people right there. Cause he, why was he not surprised when, when, when this uh, specific thing happened? Who Moses? Moses. Like, he, he, I mean, he kind of freaked. He, he freaked out. He encountered God. Why huh? was he surprised? He was scared. Exactly. So what I'm saying is, like you, you talking about color? You know, uh, color doesn't matter and all that like, stuff. No, 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 I'm not about colors. What are you talking about there, bro? What are you talking about? I don't know, man. You, I think you got the incense that's too much. You're burning out. Oh, so the incense is burning you out. That's that. that, that. <laughs> yeah, bro. Get out, the incense is burning, burning you out. out. He trying to die. He trying to project. No, you're talking about words, man. It's only what's Jesus, your, man. What's your ethnicity? Like Sorry? What's your ethnicity? Did he say? Did he no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, man. No, he didn't. In the Old Testament, they got... Man, do you know anything about order? When you go out to court, you just start yelling, and the judge will say, hey, hey, hey. Okay, well, it's order before you ask the question, brother. If you can have some respect, some concord, then I, I can... respect, you worship a child murdering God, that's what. I mean, you got the devil in the back of your jacket, and you talking about molester. Right. That's a Luciferian sign, bro. Right. Do you, do, I do, do you believe in the Baphomet? No, we're in the Baphomet. Do you believe in the Baphomet? No, I don't. Okay, this okay. Is actually, this is actually a ban. So no one right. in the Bible does ever say that, that the devil ever killed child. God in the Old Testament killed children in Egyptian. It says the children of Israel to kill pagans. Children. Okay, tell me Okay, tell me this. What did they do? What did they do? What, what did those people do before that happened? What did the children do? They didn't do anything. They were no, I'm talking about the people. There was in, there was there was bringing the, the Israelites into captivity. Now what 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 his people were what what, what was.
was the Egyptians doing to the Israelites? That's the that's the true question. Because whatever 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 happened, that provoked God to do what He had to do. So why not kill the Pharaoh and leave the children alone? They were innocent. So if we were to go out there and fuck, fucking say fuck the child unless you kill them all and shit. Why is God any different? What, what's your name, brother? My name is Lewis. Lewis? Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. My name is Mahar. Lewis, I get what you're saying, but right now in Palestine, the Israelis are doing that very thing. They're blowing up and bombing kids. But you you're, know what's the you're, sad thing? you're right to feel that way, but you have a current battle that's in front of you right now. You have one that's in front of you right now that if you truly feel that way, you can go help them and tell them, hey, you're bombing and killing kids right now. You're talking about the God of the Bible, but you don't even have a problem with what's probably going on right now, 2024. I'm not going to do I'm not going to make a change by myself. But see, you know what's the funny thing? It's that you got Islam, you mean Proverbs, Proverbs 11. don't believe in the same God, Proverbs but they all hate each other enough to kill each other. Now look, here's the thing. God is a God of balance. And he's also a just God. So whatever you do, to kill children just because they were. Well, let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. The Pharaoh himself and his whole uh, race fed them to alligators. You know, uh, did all manner of wickedness to, to the uh, Israelites, right? To the point where they start crying out to the Most High, and the Most High came to bring that judgment. Now, are we going to judge how God judges? Mankind and people groups? No, because he's God himself, man. You, you're talking about Satan, right? You said Satan had killed too many people. No, no, I said, what was no that? In the Bible, they said it, say, no in the Bible to say that Lucifer ever killed innocent women and children. Well, the, the, the problem with Lucifer, that, that specific word, he's talking about a man and not an actual uh, spirit. Right. If you look at when we're talking about really getting into the scriptures, look at Lucifer, he's talking about a man. We can get into the scripture. You want to really get uh, get to there? What's that? Okay. What did you say However, about Pharaoh? In the Old Testament, God sent the children of Israel to go kill women and children. Did He send the children of Israel? He told them, "Don't take anything for yourself. Kill the women. Kill the children." Don't take any treasure, treasure just because they were pagans, right? Yeah, but no, so I'm not saying. We're going to say fuck the child molesters, no, fuck the child the murderers. Why I'm, the fuck are we going to worship a God like that? Okay, I understand. He's going to deal with it. I just want to address a point. Did you mention the Pharaoh at all? Or where, where am I hearing things? Uh, fuck that boy. As far as I know, he's, he's just another child molester or child rape. Who's that? He's, he's supposed to be fucking okay, dead. Okay, never mind. Too. Well, yeah, well, and, uh, well, okay then. So, an eye for an eye and a two for a two at the end of the day. So if 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 his people, uh, if Pharaoh himself killed a gang of uh, Israelite kids, then what God gonna do? God gonna pay him. He he's gonna match the same energy that he he our same judgment that he gave uh, uh, the Israelites, and that's what happened. So by the time the Lord exactly. came over there, he did exactly what they did. Yeah. Just like just exactly. like our oh, friends, we use America, white people, right? The government, they put crack in our neighborhoods. Hey, that was our that was a black plague, literally. We still destroy. Look at it. We still destroy from that. In return, guess what God doing today? It's an opioid crisis, and it's not in black neighborhoods. Fentanyl price, uh, crisis as well. If you have a child master or child rapist next to you, would you eat next to him? Or would you fucking kill his ass? Go ahead and read that. We're gonna we're gonna show you uh, something real quick, but but look I, now check this check this out, brother Lewis. Don't know, look, don't listen to nobody. Right, he ain't part of the congregation. Lewis, look at this. Um, you have to go. We we go by the laws of God. So the scripture says, if 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 a man do something like that, he he will be he will be judged, right? That we got judgments here. That's that's the that's the that's the. Tell uh, them we let those motherfuckers live in God's word. Well, well, check it out. Look at Jurassic Park here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so look, now check this out. We can't do nothing right now because we're in captivity. We don't, we're not in our, in our power yet, man. What, what, what is your nationality? You're Hispanic. Now, you're talking about what Pharaoh did. Well, what the Spaniards did to your people, man. Because they did just as worse what the Pharaoh did uh, 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 with, with the kids. You're talking about what God did. Absolutely. Absolutely. They came with Christianity. And forced our people to convert to Christianity. Okay, so, so, and, and that's not the Jesus of the Bible. That's the, that's the Jesus 
of their own ma imagination. Well, according to the Bible, that's the way that, that Jesus or, or the guy in the Bible, that's the way they go. That's the way they no, roll, right? No, because uh, according to the Bible, this is why we out here, brother. We out here to tell our people the truth about the Bible because Christianity has indoctrinated our people for uh, centuries. All right? So the Jesus you, you ever heard about, that's not in the Bible. All right? Christianity and every custom of Christianity is not in the Bible. Right? We don't practice, we don't we don't worship on Sundays. We worship on Saturdays. And and guess what? The white man is not the white man. He is the devil according to the Bible. All that is in the Bible, man. So we don't need to listen to nothing the serpent. Look at the look serpent at the speaking. Right now. He's speaking in your ear. This is what we mean though. Yeah. Go ahead and read it. Alright, this is this is Job four and uh seven. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish, be an innocent. Or were, uh, were, were uh, the righteous cut off. And I was there right there. So nobody's innocent in this world, man. Not even your God. God, God is not in this world. God's not in this world. So, that, so, and then, and then go ahead and read that. This is the book of Mark, chapter 4 and verse 15. And these are they by the wayside wherein the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in his heart. So Satan, that's what Satan, Satan's, Satan's mission and Satan's program is to take the word and the truth that was in, your, that was in all our people's ears. So we have to watch out because we don't know. Now, you're looking at a demon that's flying in the spirit somewhere. When a demon can be right, by, right, right beside you. Uh, 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 you know, whispering, in, whispering in, your in your ear, indoctrinating. So we gotta be careful. That's what we say. It's a warfare out here. We all. A demon could be a fucking pastor or a fucking priest. Child. Absolutely, like, absolutely. Bro, bro. We, that's what I said. We. There's a lot of fucking. You're look, look, brother. You're mixing. You're mixing religious people who has the Bible versus people who reads the Bible. Yeah, but that's I love your passion. Yeah. I love your passion. I love what you're saying. But the thing is, is... Look, there's better shit to fight for in this world. There's fucking sex traffic in the world. We're not Christians. That's what we're fucking... trying to tell you. We, we, you don't just, we believe truly yeah, in the Bible. Uh, uh, Sirach. All right, go ahead and read it. This is the book of Sirach. Right, you chapter 11 and verse 7. Read it out. Blame not. Before thou has examined the truth. Blame not before thou examine the truth. That's right. Understand first and then rebuke. So you got to understand the scriptures first. Understand what brothers that are saying. nothing to what, what's happening to this fucking world. You, right you now. are, you look, you too bent on what's going on in the world, but you got to be bent on what's going on with you, man. Because I was, yes, it, it starts with There's you first. Women and children being raped. Now, well, okay, okay, raped, outside. Raped, outside okay, so tell me this. Forgive what can you do right now? Of all the arguments you're telling me right now, what can you do about like, that? Like, for example, if I see somebody getting raped, I'll fucking kill his ass. But that's what does the fucking but, Christian what, do? what is that going to solve, though? Yeah, what, what you going to do? What does the fucking Christian do? Get on his knees and fucking ask for, for that person. Those are all assumptions because you're not doing nothing, brother. Like, oh, no, that's an assumption. No, I've been doing something. That's sure. a, what, exactly. When I see shit, I've been doing shit. Okay, so. You yeah. want, yeah, go ahead. You got something to say. I mean, how often do brothers see somebody getting raped? Rape. Right. <laughs> When's the last time you see somebody be raped? I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, politicians that are that fucking hiding behind the wall. Yeah, see, he's just all over the place, man. <laughs> When's the last the time you seen somebody get raped? Yeah. yeah. Maybe like influence? a year ago, almost, <laughs> almost somebody getting raped. Okay, almost somebody yeah, getting raped. Which one is it? Did they get raped? In the bus, I stopped that shit. <laughs> okay, all right. And what did you do? <laughs> I fucking scared them off. What else am I going to do? Okay, so what we what we I'm not going to ask Jesus, oh, please. Go in him and tell him to stop. Come fucking stop his ass. Go ass in him. How are you going to stop all the traffickers? How are you going to do that, Lewis? Stop the fucking Bible dumping bullshit. And no. Oh, no, no. So now you're trying to blame the Bible. Okay, so, uh, so, so you're, blame, you're blaming the Bible of what, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Epstein Island did? Was that all biblical? That, that was all the Bible? That fucking Bible. Fucking went into this world and fucking corrupted everybody's mind. No, no, no. The in, the misinterpretation, the commentators of white superiority, that's what messed the world up, man. Right. They came with their own doctrines and they said, look, this is God. Because when I say God, when I say Jesus, now let's do let's do it uh uh 
uh, a face exam, right? We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna do comparisons. If you close your eyes and I say, Jesus, what does he look like? What? A hippie, see? See, we're not talking about that hippie, man. Oh, this is what we're talking about. Everything you've been taught, brother, is a lie about the Bible. That's right. And it's making you lie on the Bible, man. Someone that teaches you, teaches you not to fucking solve things through violence, look what happened with Black Lives Matter. Shit got done with, through fucking anger and shit. That's when everybody... Those are homosexuals, man. You know what they did? They stole a lot of money out of the black community. Still, the fucking cops had, had to be forced to wear cameras on them, right? If everybody got together and what the, how you how you transition from the, okay you doing too many transitions man we we done with that man all right go on. so you gotta listen this is the real Christ doesn't look like what you're saying so I can see why you mad I won't be furious if if my God and his son look like that because all I know is a white man doing all this this is all I know when I think about white people I just I I, I just I see this in my head why because this is reality. Right. All right. This is reality. Right. Now we're not talking about the white guy. Two Mexicans down there at the bottom. Those two right. Mexicans. Those are two Mexicans down there. Right out here in Cal out here in uh, uh, L.A. All right. So trust me, brother. We understand what's going on, but the mis the, the 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 misunderstanding that you have in between us is. It's not a misunderstanding. Yes, it is because your interpretation of the Bible is totally false, man. It's Nothing not a riddle, in it, bro. huh? It's not a riddle. You, you're, you're making it a riddle because it's, it's not, not in the Bible, man. The you're making says, a riddle because it's not in the Bible, the my brother. Says, he told the, the children of Israel, "Go and kill all the fucking pagans. Do okay. not take, do not take for yourself anything. Uh, give me, kill the women, give me some and kill the children. Give me, uh, I'm sorry to say, but so, okay, so, the guy's a child so, murderer. Hold on, so check this out. Rock chapter twelve. We're gonna see why the Lord said that. Okay, right? To kill anybody. To okay. kill innocent people is not okay. Okay, so doesn't nature itself tell you that killing is a part of nature? When you look at the animal kingdom, and, and, and a, a, a lion is literally going to hunt down a hyena. You know what I'm saying? It's going to hunt down a deer. It's going to hunt down a buffalo to make sure. So you think killing a child is okay? No, killing killing off the wicked of the world, yes. So killing a child is okay? A child is not innocent according to the Bible. Nobody's innocent in this world, man. No. With that? No. With that, I mean, yes. Here's the thing. And here's the thing. We're not, you're talking about the Canaanites, right? Where's Did not the Canaanites murder their own Listen, children? listen. The whole did world they, agrees a child must should answer die, the question, right? Though. Answer the question. Did they kill, did they kill children themselves? What? Were they murderers of children, the Canaanites? Did they kill children? The people that God told the Israelites to go kill. We're going to read it. We're going to read it. Go ahead and read that. They killed children Go ahead and read it. So out of the old country, uh, the old country, they should get, when thou wilt do, do good, they no them, to they whom thou do it, so, so, so shall thou be. If you hear a child is a cannonite, you're going to kill him right now. Till this day, are you going to kill the little kid? 7. As in that. No, 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 I want to ask you. No, uh, would you agree to that? Yeah. Yeah. Would you agree to that? Yeah, exactly. Don't answer that, bro. Wisdom of Solomon. Okay, wisdom of Solomon. All right, check this out real quick, brother, because at the end of the day, look, man. The most I, we, you, you're thinking too far beyond. You're thinking above the Lord, man. Give me the book of Romans uh, chapter 11 real quick. You're thinking above the Lord. You're thinking uh, infinity and beyond. Why is this? Why did this happen? Why is it? And we, there's a lot of stuff we don't like. We don't, we just have to deal with until the Lord uh, uh, brings action. Because some stuff is over our heads, man. Now you just said something. You said that you will kill a pervert. Right? Child murder and all that, right? Wouldn't you agree with that? But you're no, mad. I agree with that. Fucking kill all the child murder. Why? Okay, yeah. Why? <laughs> yes. Why? Why? So what makes this sin worse than your sin? Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Oh, Come on, brother. Oh, hey, That's, hey, right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you're a liar, Lewis. You, you're a liar, Lewis. Liar, Lewis. Liar, Lewis. Liar, Lewis. <laughs> Lewis. So wait. Now you, now, you I'm gonna show you a hypocrisy. I'm gonna show you a hypocrisy real quick, man. Your hypocrisy. You'll kill a pervert. But get mad because you saying God to kill some 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 kids of a people that did wickedness, of a people that did wickedness, and what it don't make sense, man. All right, so go ahead and read that. Yeah, what about your? We're gonna show you through the scripture. Wickedness. A lot of child molesters and predators, including the politicians, hide behind the Bible, bro. I'm just saying that. And a lot of people that don't follow the Bible, that's just as wicked. 
They just as wicked. We killed those motherfuckers. Brother, you acting like a pagan right now, man. I, ain't pagan. I think you even. What, what you got? What, what type of tattoo you got, man? I ask. Yeah, what is that? Is that you got? It's a Luciferian tattoo. See, ah, that's what it is. Bring it out, man. We, bro, we already see you, man. Before you even got here, I already seen your spirit, man. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. just hate God. You're a hater of God. Right. And you're trying to find different ways hold up, hold to up. manipulate everybody hold over up, here. Hold up, hold up. I, I hate the fucking belief in that shit. No, you just this hate. You a like God hater, God. man. Give me this Romans means, chapter one. This means independence and liberty. Never oh, find out to no one or anything. Haters of God. Give me that. Haters of God, yeah. Haters oh, of Calvary, right yeah, go ahead and bring it. They bring it out. This the Book of Psalms, chapter eighty-one. This is you, my brother. And verse number. This is why you hate God so much. Go ahead. And it reads, the haters of the Lord should have. Yeah, Satan. but you, but but you love Satan, though. No. How you don't, but how you don't believe in God, but you believe in Satan, who the Bible talks about. And right. you don't even stick that pitchfork up your butt. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's madness. Like, how are you talking about? You talking about you? you uh, God is this, God is that. The dude was speaking for some. He was literally speaking for Satan. He was Satan's mouthpiece, man. That's why he was listening to Esau. Yeah, yeah, that's why he listened to Esau. Like, I, I got a dad. I got a daddy. I got a dad. I got a dad. Yeah. yeah I just, hey, man, our people is through, man. This is why we say, man. You know, go ahead and finish that. Yeah, he caught. Uh, and where did he go? It says, the end? He went into the pit. Went back to hell. <laughs> went back to hell, man. Yeah, it says, the haters of the Lord should have submitted themselves unto him. Right. But their time should have endured forever, man. Right, man. Yeah. There's a lot of haters of God here, man. Uh -huh. And you and see, what what he don't what he fell to realize is brothers over here got discernment. We can see a spirit, we can see what the spirit that's behind you, the spirit you talking to, man. All right, so we, hey man, we brothers know what's going on over here, man. We ain't over here bugged out. Every Christian lie. Every Christian lie, man. Oh, they done this with the Bible. Yeah. And that's like that's more the reason to even read the Bible to understand it. Why are you going off of what they told you and what they lied about? That's it, man. Talk about oh Jesus is a hippie. See, I, once he said that, I already knew. I said, it was a rap. yeah, it was a rap. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and read that. Yes, yeah, so cause uh, uh give me my fact, give me uh Proverbs eleven, I'll read it. Proverbs eleven verse one. All right, so what, what people don't understand, hey, the most high must balance the books. Everything gotta be level. So if he's killing the multiple people, well guess what? He's doing it to balance the earth. Man. All right, so go ahead and read it. This is Proverbs eleven and one. A false balance is an abomination. To the most high. Right. A false balance is abomination to God, man. All right? So the God God himself has to, he has to balance the books, man. So kids and all get it. Kids, everybody get it in order to balance the books. How are you going to kill all our kids and the Lord ain't going ain't gonna, to uh, pay you back for that? For that for, come, on. come on, man. It, it just don't make sense, man. You know what I'm saying? I used to believe that too, man. All oh, the kids, because that's everybody's weakness, you know what I'm saying? The kids and all that. Hey, what did David say, man? I smashed that kid on the <laughs> Dash him, stab his face into the stone, man. Hey, man, man. Bring that out. Bring that out. So, at the end of the day, what? We're going to go against what David said? No, nah, man. The Lord knows, man. The Lord knows what happens. All right? There was this one uh, uh, article I read where uh, it was out there in Mississippi. This is way back, you know, during Jim Crow. And... It was it was a uh, it was it was twenty young black uh, brothers, and uh, this white dude he was like the, he was like they coach or whatever it was something. He let he put them in this box. This, you know those uh what's those things? Box like for uh, hell week when they do hell week. And all yeah. That, well, well, it was like a room. It was like oh, a, it was like it. Uh, sauna, it's like the yeah. Heat box, the and that that dude literally burned all our brothers to death alive. Burned them alive, man. Like he locked the door and they burned him alive. So it's like, it's like, man, and these kids, man. So like the most high is all about balance, man. He's a just God. He wouldn't be just if he don't do, if he don't, if he don't pay you for the, for the favor that you gave. He wouldn't be a just God at all, man. Ah. All right. So, uh, so it's all about God's, he says a false balance is abomination to, to the Lord, but a just way is his delight. Is his delight, man. All right, so let me read that. Second Kings 2 and 25 talks about the children that 
Oh, that's what I had. I had that. Oh, that's another one. That's another one. Yup. That's a good one. They marked Elijah. They, they just marked him. They didn't rape him. They just marked him. And guess what? The Lord said, hey, man, take them out. They marking my people, man. All right, good. This is 2 Kings 2 and 23. And he went up from thence to, uh, to Bethel. And as he was going up by the way, there came forth little children out of the city and mocked him and said unto him, Go up, thou bald head. Go up, thou bald head. Go up, go up, you bald head. You know, they, they, they was mocking the prophet of the Lord, man. All right, now that's not true. That's not that's not bigger of a threat than rape or killing. Uh, or uh, uh, Epstein's Island. Yeah, but yet, look how the Lord looks at things, right? You looking at how men look at things, and then we, as we examine your spirit, you, we find out that, hey man, you 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 got number of uh, man's wisdom, God. right? You got Lucifer. I do got six 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 right here on, on his uh, on hey, his he arm. He even said the thing on his back was to his band, and you yeah. was calling it out that yeah. it was demonic. I already see it, so the devil just came over here with his spirit. <laughs> hey, we've been battling him all day. Second Kings two and twenty four, and he turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of the Most High. Right. And there came forth two she-bears out from the wood and tear forty and two children of them. And he went, Salakia, and he went from thence to Mount Carmel. Man, hey, the Lord had two bears that just... Two mama bears. Two mama bears, man. Mama and papa bear come over there and just knock out all these uh, uh, children. Because they scoffed in the prophets, man. All right, so hey, 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 you you don't understand the Bible, man. Right. You do not understand the Bible. Nobody innocent uh, in, in God's eyes, man. And I'm kind of led to believe these was heathen children. They wasn't Israel. Right. And even if it was, hey, hey, it was times like like for instance, when 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 David was counting all the people in Israel, the Lord put judgment on Israel, right? And he killed thousands of people in Jerusalem. Ah. And the angel, <laughs> David looked up and see the angel with the sword out just waiting like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ah. <laughs> the most I told him, he said, enough. It's, you ah. know what I'm saying? So, hey, we, like I said, we don't understand the justice and judgment of God. We've been taught the false love of God in ah. Christianity, right? But it's not in there. You know, like, like, the, like we were talking about uh, last night, the chosen, man, a peaceful Nonviolent God. All right. So go ahead and give me that, man. We're going to just show you the justice of the Lord, man. All right. All right. This is Psalm 137. Yes, sir. Uh, Frankincense and mustard. All right. This is Psalm 137 and seven. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. Now look at what the Lord is saying in the scripture. Frankincense is the incense of prayer. Okay, you come. Yeah. You ought to come get this word, brother. Yeah, come get this word, word man. It's, it's just ain't going to save you either, though. Check us out. Children from their youth are given to evil. Give to evil, right. That's right, man. Hey, hey, the scripture says in, in Psalms, what is it, uh, 20, uh, 28, you know, hey, they, they come out speaking lies, man. Gone as soon as they be born. As soon as they be born, man. So, yeah. I see my boys all the time. Yeah. Just natural. Just, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because we in a wicked we, we we have a wicked oh, nature. God. Where did that come from? Look, you have to learn kids have to learn yeah. good. They can't learn good. We 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 are automatically this this program to do evil, man. So we have to that's why the Lord gave us laws. You know, because we have to learn how to do good, man. Okay, my yeah. And another another reason why a lot of a lot of uh, our, our kids do that in, in America, I'm gonna say in America because guess what? If you look at them old cartoons all the way to now, they some very cartoons are very violent, man. I didn't realize. Yeah, Buzz Bunny. I'm like, damn. Yeah, he's just shooting his head off. Like, it was violent. A Tasmanian devil just running around, just just knocking everything off. Coyote. Yeah, so when you that they programming you and who who was running Disney at that time when Disney had actually uh passed was the Jews, man. 
And inside, they, they just, they reported, I mean, like, I think it was like 2012, where it was hitting messages all in every uh, Disney cartoon, uh, man. A oh perverted yeah. message and violence, man. Uh -huh. So, you know, these people, we, we, we understand something, man. We've been programmed in America, man. We've been programmed at, the, at, the, at, a, at a small age, man. You know what I'm saying? But the Most High has raised us up to stop that, man. To, to make a change, man. To stop that flow of, of, of you know, madness, right? So go ahead and read that. All right, this is a book of Psalms, 137 and 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, uh, raise, raise it, raise, raise it, it, even to, to the, the foundation, foundation of their all. So when, 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 when the Babylonians came to destroy Jerusalem, guess who was right beside them, cheerleader? He was a cheerleader. Esau, Esau Edom. All right, they was cheerleading the downfall and destruction of our people. When they said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation, this is what they was really saying in lame terms. Hey, destroy the government of God, man. Destroy God's government. All of it. All, every last to the foundation, man. All right, so we don't know the warfare that's been going on all these decades, man. All right, centuries even, read. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he, shall he be. He said happy we're going to be, read. That rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that thinketh and dash that little one against the stone. Come on, man. This, 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 is, this is what judgment and justice look like, man. All right, this ain't no Christian feel good. Jesus, uh, what's, the, what's that one uh, Christian song? I got the, he got the whole world. It is as he got the whole. No, nah, nah, we ain't dealing with that, man. Yeah. They all, he they all yes. He kind of sound like a pervert himself. Yeah. What does reparation mean to you? Okay. Well, you know, reparations is in the Bible. All right. So we're, like, we're going to show you a few reparations and how America will not pay us back for nothing. All right. We're going to start with that first. Give me, uh, I, yeah. You can read that first. Uh, well, give me uh, Isaiah chapter uh, 42. Oh, uh, yeah. 10%. Yeah. 22. Yeah. So go ahead. Now, this is, this is how God look at reparations. We know America has given, especially right now, America has given money to almost every nation on the planet. Every time there was a crisis in their own perspective lands, They'll send them millions, even billions even. Israel right now is terrorizing uh, the Palestinians and all that. Them 14 and a half billion dollars. 14 and a half billion dollars. Now, when we speak of reparations, they tell us, well, look, get your historians, get your lawyers. Let's break down. Let's see. Let's do this. That, all these different requirements. But when something happens to one of the people they like, they give oh, thousands to Right now. Thousands too. So we're not looking for reparations coming out of the hands of our enemies. Because these are our enemies, sis. You know? So go ahead and read it. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 35 and verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. For blood, it defileth the land. So according to the Bible, blood defiles the land. It pollutes the land. That's why you look at America today, it's all tore up, corrupt. People is, is nothing but violence in our why? It's too much blood here. Blood has defiled this place. All right, so go ahead, read. For blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of them that shed it. That's right. So that's an equal balance. So the the Lord he got he got he has to bring uh, an equalizer. And that equalizer in this modern day will be missiles to destroy this place, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all reparations. Us being delivered and this place being burned to ashes and dust for all of this that you see it today. So, uh, this, did you get what the Bible said? Yes. So, what did it say? What I read, what did you perceive what I read? What did that say? I'm going to read it again for you slow. Look, it said, 
so ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. So the land gets polluted when you kill people and the blood is spilled. Yes, that pollutes. That pollutes it. Of course. So now look what the Bible says. And the Bible says, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed. So to clean this land, to clean it, it said the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. That's right. So that blood got to spill so, this land in order to cleanse it. That's yeah. right. You all are intelligent men. I'll praise you. Actually, uh, I'll praise you. <laughs> you got a sister a flyer? You got a flyer? Did you get a flyer? Did you get a flyer? No. Well, let me give you a flyer, sis. Very good. You can check our videos out. You have a good day, sis. That's right. Yeah, so, because they're not going to pay us money, so you, we, ah! we got to stop looking for uh, Esau, the so called white man, yeah, to come give us some money, man. That's right. And hey, the that's moment right. Joe Biden came into being, came into uh, power, what did he give us? He gave us a doggy bone, June 10th. All right? So I'm going to give y'all niggas some June 10th so y'all can shut up. <laughs> and then once June 10th came out for everybody, they made that a benefit, man. They got money off that, man. Now you got damn uh, uh, Walmart selling June 10th stuff. You know? It was it was better when it was just us, man. It, it was it was We cherished it more when it was just about us. Now it's all about uh, uh, economy now. So all the everything we do, man, everything they they they, they give us, they're gonna profit uh, over it. So go ahead and read that. Uh, uh, this is Isaiah 42 and 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snare and hoes, and they are high in prison houses. Yep. They are for a prey and none delivered for a spoil and none set restored. Right? And hey, nobody said restored, man. Who's going to restore the Israelites in these last days, man? All right, who's going to give them reparations? If you look that word up, it just means to repair.